welcome to another episode of Devotion Championship Wrestling. I'm the Ciceroni, Lauren Gardner, and this week, coming to you from my home studio. Out of concern for the safety of our athletes and that of our fans, due to the spread of COVID-19, this week, we're going to revisit a few key pieces of Devotion Championship Wrestling's history. In December, Vince Russo, one of the most influential creative forces in professional wrestling, joined Devotion Championship Wrestling. For the first time, we will see that on television. And then, the I Quit match between Andrew Sowell and Tom Chad, one of the most brutal matches I have ever seen. But first, a message from the heavyweight champ, Manny Lemons. What you see with me is what you get. And I'd rather be hated for everything that I am than love for something I'm simply not. The last two months, I've learned a little something about myself, and it's that it's the fact that I crave this like an addict. I'm addicted to this high. I'm addicted to this grind of walking out in front of a sold-out audience and listening to the cheers and the boos and knowing the people there that they believe in me. And it's gone. Day 56 of the quarantine, and it's felt like eight years. Heck, eight years ago to this week, Cinco de Mayo 2012, I walked into a wrestling school and I was dropped on my dang neck. And I haven't looked back since. I have been rising and grinding ever since that day. And here we are, May of 2020, stuck in our homes and can't do a thing about it. Devoted faithful, we are going to be back in the gateway here very soon. And we're going to be back to doing what we do best. And that is putting on the best professional wrestling in the state of Utah. We just ask in the meantime that you all stay safe. Because during this time, during this quarantine, we know that when the time comes, only the devoted will survive. of the Attitude Era. One of the best minds this industry has ever produced, Vince Russo! I gotta tell you guys, it, coming back here to Salt Lake City, uh, it brings a lot of memories to me. Uh, the last time I actually was here, I was standing inside a WCW ring. And there are two things I remember from that night that I'll never forget. And the first thing was, I was picked up at the airport with my friend DDP by a mailman, Carl Malone. And I gotta tell you, having worked with thousands of the greatest athletes in the world to this day, I never saw a man that was put together like Carl Malone. And I never forgot that. And here's the second thing that I'll never forget. That night in Salt Lake City, I was cutting the promo. I was ripping apart the crowd. Maybe some of you were in the crowd. And I noticed there was a heckler on this side, like these guys. Somebody was heckling me and he kept throwing me off, throwing me off. I finally turned around, and much to my surprise, it was Donnie Osmond and his kids. <laughs> and I completely broke character and cracked up. 
But I got to tell you, that was, a, uh, that was a great, great, great memory. Now, I got to tell you guys, for the last five years, I've been, um, I like to consider myself a professional podcaster. Um, I'm on, uh, I have a little channel called Russo'sBrand.com. I hope you guys check that out. And quite frankly, about a year and a half ago, I decided um, I wasn't going to make any appearances anymore. I kind of felt it was time to move on. Uh, my podcasting was successful. I figured I'd leave the, uh, the wrestling business, you know, to the young guys. And it was about that time, I'd say about a year ago, I started getting uh, messages from Manny Lemons. And I met Manny in Colorado at Rocky Mountain Pro, and he was persistent. And he was like, Vince, you got to come to Salt Lake City. You got to come to Salt Lake. And I said, Manny, I'm retired. I'm done. I'm an old man. And then Manny had me look at some clips and some footage and some matches from Devotional Championship Wrestling. And I got to tell you, man, when, when I watched this footage, I saw something that I really loved. I saw characters, and I saw good storylines, and I saw great professional wrestling. And the more I watched, the more intrigued I became. And finally, after about a year, when Manny told me it was the one-year anniversary, and guys, that's saying a lot. That's a success for any wrestling promotion to be in business for one year. Give it up, man. That's a lot. Thank you, Manny. Thank you, Manny. Thank you, Manny. Still here? So with the one-year anniversary, I knew how special it was to Manny. I said, Manny, I'm coming. I'm coming, book it, I'm coming. I gotta tell you guys, today I got to meet some of the greatest men and women I've ever met in this business. Young men, young women, hungry, willing to listen, willing to learn, and today, tonight, they are gonna put it all out there for each and every one of you. So give it up, bro. Let them know what they've accomplished over the last year. Enjoy the show, everybody. The genesis of this match goes all the way back a year. Tom Chad, then the core champion, was defending his title in a triple threat match. As the champion, he used his prerogative to bring in his longtime friend and former tag team partner, Andrew Sowell, thus making it a fatal four way. Our newest devotion champion to wrestling signee, Andrew Sowell. Yes, not only the fans, but everyone in the locker room was elated to have these two together and they put on a clinic showing the devastation that they could do in the ring when their ambitions align. They were quickly making short work of the competitors in the Fatal 4-Way together, almost making it like a one-on-one-on-two -on -one -on match. 
and everything was going just fine, looking like Tom Chad was going to retain his core championship until this fateful moment when Andrew Sowell betrayed Tom Chad to everyone's dismay. This act of betrayal ultimately led to Tom Chad losing the core championship title. The following month, so well took things outside of the ring. Man, get the door! Footage coming from the DCW YouTube channel shows Andrew Sowell invading Tom Chad's home and beating him down severely. This domestic attack started what became a seven month battle, which included multiple matches, a restraining order, even time in the county jail. And now for the first time on television, Andrew Sowell and Tom Chad's I Quit match. Our first contestant, weighing in at none of your business, those dumb, dumb wanna do's will never know I'm 300 pounds, Andrew Sowell! I am inevitable. This is a match that has been years in the making, and we've seen it developing in the ring here at Devotion Championship Wrestling since the very first day Andrew Sowell stepped into this arena. Tonight looks like he's wearing, well, he's no Thanos, but apparently he has a gauntlet of his own. Weighing in at 325 pounds from Derriere Farm, the pineapple clad, Tom Chad. Tom Chad making his way out to the ring with his special valet. These two were former tag team partners outside, but even before DCW had been founded, we were all excited to see Andrew Sowell come in to Devotion Championship Wrestling, only hoping that ADHD would then be reformed. But the two have never been able to come to any sort of agreement on anything, and that does include whether or not pineapple should go on pizza. Of course, Tom Chad says yes. Yes, it does. Tom Chad clearly got the fans behind him here. This is an I Quit match, so anything goes. It can go in, out, around. Oh! Oh my gosh! Sticking to the Christmas theme since it is December. Andrew Sowell has a special gift for Tom Chad. This match will only end when one competitor says into the microphone or audibly to the referee that they quit. Says no, I don't quit, and rightfully so. I think it'll take more than a, a smack from a chair. Oh, man! Basement drop kick to the chaired head of Tom Chad. Boy, that's a concussion waiting to happen. Tom Chad, and here, here in professional wrestling, in, instead of getting gifts under the tree, you get gifts from underneath the ring. And right now, the bounty is all steel chairs. Andrew Sowell putting plenty to play with in the ring. This is not going to be pretty, folks. It's going to be violent. But by the end of it, we will have a clear decision as to who is the man. Dusty elbow, one, two. Tom Chad now puts a foot right through the front of Andrew Sowell, puts him down on his chest. Tom Chad pulls out that chair. Oof, a little tit for tat doing exactly what was done to him. The official asking if he'd like to quit quickly lets him know he does not want to quit at all. Fans asking for one more time, and here it is. Oh, man. Holy smokes. I hate you all. Oh, my. Tom, Tom Chad. Tom Chad has just pulled out a flat screen television. I, be I believe it was the 
the second show that we saw, the second show that we saw Andrew Sowell in, there was footage that had been captured of him breaking into Tom Chad's house and he put him through his own big screen TV, threw him right through it. I can only imagine this is that same wrecked television that now, oh my. Oh! He's now getting his own chance to put Andrew Sowell through a TV. I have never seen this before, folks. Oh! In all my years of combat sports journalism, I have never seen anyone. No! I've never seen anyone use a television like that. Oh! As a weapon. No! My goodness, this is, wow. Going for a third time. Oh, gosh, and glass has shattered. The glass from the screen has shattered all over the back of Andrew Sowell. Folks, this is our, our official Ian has given the signal that there is something desperately wrong. You can tell by the hush that's fallen over the audience that something's happened right here. Andrew, Andrew Sowell's not doing well. He may have a laceration across his back, right over his kidneys, very vulnerable spots. This is, this is really not something you'd ever want to try at home, folks. Please, please leave it to these professionals. Oh, gosh. And a low blow from out of nowhere. Absolutely legal in this match. Gosh, man, I... I bit that ruse, hook, line, sinker, even the pole in the reel. Man, I bought into that hard. Egg on all of our faces, including Tom Chad's. Right now, Andrew Sowell pulling out the dirtiest of deeds when it comes to hardcore matches. The banquet table. Double axe handle coming down on top of Tom Chad. You're not gonna see any holds in this match, folks. You're just gonna see a lot of fists, a lot of items, a lot of pain, a lot of misery. A match like this is, is reserved especially for two people that truly hate each other. And sadly, these two who were once great tag team partners have found this is the only way to settle their dispute. Tom Chad, seeing what was coming, dives out of the way. A couple of hits, a big dusty chop. Oh, returned with a nasty clothesline. Oh. Tom Chad not ready to give up the ghost yet. Andrew Sowell calling for it. You can end this, dum dum. All you have to say is four. Five <laughs> letters. Say it. Okay, I'll say it. There we go. I'll say it. Pizza. Pizza, he says. P I Z Z A. Yeah, that, I mean that is five letters. Yeah, that is five letters. Andrew Sowell. I think he's gonna have to try something else. Everything they've brought out so far has been used, I do believe. I truly hope that we won't see the televisions in use anymore because that, never in my life seen that before, amazing. Got another present here, he's unwrapping, oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, a staple gun. A staple gun, oh gosh. Right to the back. You can see the, the cut on, Oh, gosh, stapled in again. He doesn't need straps. I don't like it! He says he doesn't like it. I don't like it! He does not like I it. it. Ah, I love it! Oh, another low blow, this time from Tom Chad. 
inverted atomic drop. That's not a good spot. He's feeling a lot of pain repeatedly in the same location. Andrew Sowell's gonna be feeling that. Goes for yet another, but instead opts for a good old fashioned groin kick. Tom Chet's picked up. Picks up the stapler and now using a bill. Oh my! Uses a bill for our upcoming show next month, Annihilation. Staples one to his head, staples one to his arm. Oh my, he's going for another one. Oh my gosh. I hate Tom Chad and Pineapples. Oh my, it's still stuck to him. I mean, that's one way to advertise, I guess, for our upcoming show. We hope to see you all there, but goodness sakes, folks. Oh, very close. Oh, psyched him out a little bit there. I guess he deserves two for flinching on that one. No. The staple to the head, that, I mean, he's still, he's tugging at it right now to get it out. Tom Chad has a fan now. He says, hold this for me, ladies and gentlemen, again, please don't try any of what you're seeing at home. Into the corner, oh man! I believe he just made that young pineapple chunks day. The fan here fully decked out in pineapple goods. Going Shut to do up. the same. Hold it for Tom Chad. He may not want to be right directly behind it like that, though. No, he definitely didn't. Andrew Sowell goes down. Huh? No, I don't want to go to school. <laughs> he said he didn't want to go to school. I'm not sure if. Andrew Sowell is 100% there right now. I mean, he's not there all the time. But that's usually on purpose. Third time into a chair held by a fan. And a punch drunk, Andrew Sowell drops to the ground. Spaghetti legs cannot hold you, folks. Shut up, all of you. Barely able to even respond. Still coherent though, at least enough to respond. Tom Chad now going into the he's going into the boiler room here at the DCW arena. He's pulling out. Oh yes. We saw what Tom Chad was throwing all of his quote unquote Christmas presents into earlier in the snow. One of the things he got out of the snow was a machete. I do believe that that is, that is one line that our official is not willing to cross. A keg has been tossed into the ring. Well, I mean, we've got everything in here. Sands a kitchen sink, a ladle, PVC pipe. And yes, folks, somebody call Kroger. We've got one of their shopping carts here. Oh, man right across the back. <laughs> Andrew Shut Sowell up. telling a fan, I don't need your help. I don't need your charity. Asking ladle or a boot, the fan chose boot, down it comes. And in it folks, we've got the pineapple and it's firing up Tom, Chad. If you ask me that one more time, I'm gonna rip those glasses off your face. Oh! Gosh! Reminds me of the time my mother did not like my tone with her and I got a ladle to the bottom. Luckily, mine broke. I don't think a plastic one would. Tom, Chad, now positioning this, this shopping cart in the corner. As you can see, the, the even more dangerous, the wheels have been removed, so it's stationary. Keg to the head. 
And down goes Andrew Sowell, folks. This has not gone well for Andrew Sowell. Tom Chad came to this match extremely prepared. Oh gosh, a headbutt puts, oh gosh, followed up by a modified infinity spear. No! Top Chad goes through the table, but still willing to go on. Earlier today in the locker room, I had a chance to talk with Andrew so well, and he told me, quote, the time has come for me to prove once and for all that I was the best part of ADHD and show that Tom Chad is nothing more than a quitter. Say it! Okay, I'll say it again! Do it! Pineapples do go on pizza! Oh, adding gas to the fire here. Andrew Sowell's positioning for a choke slam here. Countered up into a fireman's carry. Counters out of it, pushes Tom Chad into the shopping cart. What has he got planned here? Infinity Spear, no, no, he counters. And Andrew Sowell goes through the back door right into that shopping cart. Not a place I would ever want to be, oh, no. especially now. I think he's he's getting a paddling here. Oh my gosh! Look at the eyes popping out of the head. Oh, Andrew Sowell is feeling every single piece of this. He says no, I think. Oh gosh! Jeez! Pulls him back up again. The official has got to check and see. I quit. That's it, folks. Oh the my of this gosh. Is Tom Chad. What an incredible match. I have never seen anything quite like this, folks. Thank you for bringing us into your homes this weekend. We hope you are all safe. As always, I'm Lauren Gardner, and until next week, folks, stay devoted. Fool humans, there is no escape.